Hello and welcome back everybody to EPL World Series America Season 6. My name is MJ Pinkman and it is an absolute pleasure to be here and see some Brazilian come to strike because it's been a while. Last time that I had the chance was uh, on the Season 5. I think I even had the opportunity to catch the finale or if not that, the lower bracket final. But we are back with more Counter Strike today. We've got matches from Group B. The winner's match, as you can see, Case versus Flamengo. Case 1 versus Galois, uh, pretty convincingly 2-0. And Flamengo versus 9Z Academy. Even though it is a 2-0 victory, that match got close. It was... Um, Overtime on the first map, 16 to 14 in favor of Flamengo, and then 13 to 9 on Inferno for Flamengo. So they uh, got a big W there. Now they're getting closer and closer to that playoff stage. Case we got RCF, Yeps, Riccioli, Snow, and Urbano. And it's been a while since I watched Snow play the 16 year old talent. Who uh, I hope that he's going to reach a higher level this year. Not that I'm in any disrespect towards Case, but of course, you're always trying to make it into that tier 2, tier 1 scene. Flamengo, we got Lucas, the veteran, Danoko, we can call him that as well, Ale, Zok, and Sakamoto. Now, Flamengo, these past couple of uh, days, let's say the least, they haven't really had a uh, full roster. Um, they've been uh, going with different players from time to time, but. Uh, as far as the official lineup goes, we got Ale, Rielsen, and Danoko. I think uh, Luca Lucas is jumping in from time to time to help them. Uh, but uh, as far as HLTV information goes, we don't have a full roster. We got Mirage as the first map of the series. The choice of Case, Inferno, for Flamengo, and Nuke, the third and last one. It's pretty standard maps here for both of these teams. Uh, Case played Mirage last time around and they've won. And Flamengo, they love Inferno. And I love Inferno too, so I'm looking forward to watch them play. We got stats for the past uh, three months for these teams. Um, and yeah, both teams like playing Ancient, but it's not like we saw it. I guess you could argue that it is... Uh, Ancient is more stronger or favorable to uh, Case. So that's why maybe... Uh, Flamengo didn't go for that one, but we got stats from Mirage. The win rate is looking good for both teams. Uh, we always see Brazilian Counter-Strike be as a Pug-style CS. It can be a Pug-style CS, if not the deep strats and uh, diving into a deeper map pool. Uh, but they got the talent, so they got uh, the lineups, the players. Uh, so, so far, these teams, like I mentioned, they won both of their matches. Case played against uh, uh, Galloris, and we saw Mirage there, which was really close. 13 to 11 for Case, and on Ancient, it was 13 to 7 for Case. Uh, if you guys didn't follow the last event of Americas from EPL World Series, uh, on Season 5, we had uh, Audic be the champions, uh, and they beat Case in the Grand Final. So this time, we don't have Audic. Which means Case, as the runners up uh, of the last season, they have a pretty good opportunity to win this event. But it's not like they have uh, weak teams in front of them. Uh, I'm looking forward to see how the teams from Group A are going to play. Uh, but without further ado, let's jump into the first map of the series. We got Mirage, and look at this, Flamengo, they're already out on the B-side snow with the Glock, and we have PH1 with the Dualies, and he will fall to RCF, good entry here from Flamengo, Lucas is going to find Ur Urban. No diffuse kit here for the CP side because we have the dualies and Snow, he has some good information in a good position. Eventually he's going to eliminate Dale. Lucas though, he's still a big trouble here for Flamengo. Here's Snow, kill found by Danoko. Riccioli and Yeps remain. And Yeps has found two headshots, Zok and Danoko fall. Now it's all down to Lucas. He's got two kills. He needs two more to win this round. He's got five seconds left to do because he has no diffuse kit. But Case are being very disciplined right now. Here is Yeps with the last kill of the round. Well played from Case. Excuse me. Well played from Case. They win the pistol. The team names at the top will uh, be updated soon. So please bear with us for a second. Now, Flamengo, they're not going to go for the buy. We got a frag grenade and a flash. Maybe that frag grenade to uh, blow the smoke. Flamengo. 
or cage rather, taking their time. Eventually they will go out mid. Smoke in the window, smoke on top connector. Not oh, smoke in the jungle actually. Urban is going to dominate PI to Urban, another one found, then off of the trade. Snow and Yepslow, they are there to not let anybody get the, their hands on that level. Zuck. Snow is going to eliminate him and Flamengo. Case rather, that's round number two. A good start, the second round is clean. But now we got the full buy. Let's see what Flamengo got. Five M4A1Ss, no defuse kit. Focusing more on utility. It's a default start, two, one, two. Ace will go out mid, the smoke on top connector and window, but Danoko is going to fight from connector and he has two teammates on short swing in the pockets are good. Blue cuts and Danoko eliminate Rikioli and Urban. Great timing with that fight on the ground from Mango, but now on the B side. Yes, he's trying his best to turn this around, but PH1 is going to shut him down, leaving only RCF who's found two kills. Upgrade to AK looking for that bomb plan and he's going to commit. No defuse here for Flamengo, remember, frag grenade thrown by Danoko that reveals his position and RCF drops to 27 HP. He's got utility to work with, but he doesn't want to use anything just yet. An ally is coming from B apartments and RCF is starting to have his doubts. And he has the right idea, but ally is going to have a free kill here. Flamengo, they will win the first gun round. It is a team ace. A nice try from RC after at the end. He got two kills and planted the bomb, which is decent considering he was in a one versus four situation. Counter terrorists win. Case. Snow taking some damage from the HE early round. Smoke on top mid use. Case are hoping that Flamengo are going to fight mid heavy again, but no. It's the default. Danoka and Al are about to get tested on this A side. Let's see the execution from Case. Incendiary under RCF is going to eliminate Ale and Snow is going to take down Zog. Snow finds another one, Danoko falls. Flamengo, they had players on this A defense, but not a single frag found by the CT side. Great job by Snow. And RCF, of course, the headshot on CT. It's very annoying to play against a CT player on an A exec, especially after he uses a smoke or something. It's always a nuisance, you always have to watch out about that player peeking. So, everything works out here for Case. They are going to extend their lead 3-1, to one. and look at this, they already want to hunt here. And Lucas, he hears the steps, he has the incendiary, no time to use it though. The off angle, how many kills are going to get the first yet, but here's the trade from RCF. And now PH1 remains with that MP9, but for how long? Because RCF, he is close, Flash is, he has the right idea here. Is one nice shot from the abs case a successful a execution and a successful hunt here the money is not good here for flamengo that damage from rcf that i talked about in the previous round it's had its impact. We got that Mac then on Ricky Oli. B side completely open, case. It will be RCF to grab that C4 and head toward this bomb site. And Snow, he will start things off with a frag on Danoko. And now Flamengo, no. A 
that gates are going to go for B, although he's by Urban in window, he gets the back. So I can just pistols at the end of the day here, and look at Ricky Holy. He is running around trying to find as many players as possible to get a frag with this SMG. And Lucas, on default, now he's going to take care of him. Case, this is such a strong round, and the last one that they won. They've made so much money because they didn't really uh, get that much damage by their opponents. And Ricky Oli, he's going to keep the Mac 10. Okay. But now we got the op out on Zok. Case, we saw them execute on that A side and it worked out really well. Now on B, this off angle from Zog though is so good. He should be able to get one frag here. Here it is, kill found on Snow, and now he can reposition safely. He got another angle here, but Urban is going to expect nothing, he gets the frag. One more player on shore, that's going to be PH1, the pressure is on his shoulders to deliver here. The flash is remaining in from the CT side, but Urban still takes him down. Now Danoko out in the middle of nowhere, yes, he's going to eliminate him. Lucas and Ale. Two versus four, the incendiary is good to delay the plan, but they need the kills, and Lucas, he's doing a good job so far. One kill found, but that will be all that he gets, and Ale, he's so disconnected from that B site. Not even going to attempt to go for this retake. He has to save. Case. A really strong round here. Urban and Yeps with big multi-kills. Zog got the first kill of the round, so it was definitely a better start for Flamengo. It was five versus four, but it did not matter. Terrorists win. Timeout call from Flamengo. Things are not going as well. Case on the rounds that they've won, they've been dominating. Staying with multiple players alive. The economy is reflecting that. Aggression on Palace, no, he ha he hears the step, he's going to peek, he will get the first frag, looking for the second, my god, Snow, you simply cannot push him, he's going to eliminate you, and a third round from Snow, quad kill, of course, he's off for the ace, only the knuckle remaining, and he's been spotted in connector, yep, he's going to eliminate him, but my god, what a round from Snow, he made Flamengo look like, I don't know, a random face it stack, you want to push Palace? Okay, I'll give you a fight. The third one was sharp, and the fourth one, it was just heated, man. Unstoppable. And Flamengo, that was just after the timeout. It's going to hurt a lot. Another timeout call from Flamengo. And Snow comes like a storm. Things are not going well here for Flamengo. This is a weird bite. We got the op for Zoc. Two MP9s and two Deagles.
Alec gets volleyed out, he has to reposition, and Snow is not going to let him live after that one, Snow looking for the second, and Vicchioli is going to seal that one, we got one more defender on this A side, and that's the H one, the smoke, oh my, two frag grenades to expose, and he gets one kill, okay, that's respectful, now Lucas and Zoc, two versus four, Eagle, wall bang lands on Snow, okay, that's a good start, do you have more though? about the op on CT attack from an RCF a ball bang on Lucas Zoc slowly backing off Flamengo know that this is not impossible but a very difficult retake especially with no diffuse kit and a deagle and an op glass cannon only so case they keep that fire blazing they make it seven to one and do you guys know what seven to one means Brazil! Let's go! Terrorists win. Case! A really strong team on Mirage! Flamengo! They saved the off at least. They will have another buy here, but... They're not winning the rounds. Secondary up on his hands and Zoc. We've seen him on this angle again. He got one frag. He wants to do it again. Smoke from Ricky Oldy. Top connector and the Molotov follow up. Lucas has been holding short and chair for quite some time now. Eventually. Urban is going to come there and peek. Zoc is going to eliminate Snow. The Molotov is going to make life difficult going for the Cold Zero. Doesn't shoot. Yep, he knows it's too dangerous to continue further. Zoc. Danoko spots the barrel of the gun and he's ready. Vicioli makes a noise too. Shoulder spotted. Kill fan from Danoko. Urban. And that's something that Danoko is not ready for. PH1 in the meantime, he's found two frags. RCF and Urban Fall. Yep, he's been good so far. 10 kills, only one death. It's a 1 versus 4 with 30 seconds. Ale, not the best play the first time, but he recovers. And that's Flamengo getting round number 2. Double off set up here again for Flamengo. Maybe this is the change that they needed. Even though it's not like the offs won the round still. They will be dangerous. In case know that there are two offs in play. They will go for the execution. They had success last time. The knock with the incendiary on the left side. Sock is going to be positioned. Lucas, a double kill here. Snowman Vicioli lined up. That's a big start, and the fragment able deal some really good damage on RCF. And look at Ali hiding on balcony here, and they have no idea. He surely gets a multi kill here. Here it is, the first is his. Looking for the second, Urbano is going to fall as well. Only RCF with that offer. But the sniper is stuck on Shadow. He gets a leg shot on Ali, but Lucas with the eagle is going to finish him off. And that's Flamengo getting round number three. Great round from Lucas. Case. Swing in before that smoke on stairs falls. And you can't really blame them. But they will be more careful next time. If there is going to be another execution here.
Okay, so I've got mid control, one man go. Three players on that A defense. Nade. Don't know if I was looking for a fight. Doesn't spot anybody. Ale, the smoke. It's going to give him cover, but now he's about to fade. Zok, though, misses a crucial shot with that sniper. KAs are going to get closer. Zok is going to eliminate RCF. Yeps with a trade on Ally, and they know about the AWP being on CT. Yeps, he's got utility to work with. Two flashes and a Molotov. And Flamengo, now this is where it becomes difficult with a double off setup. A retake. Four versus four. Riccioli, he knows exactly where Danoko is, and they're both low HP. Whoever lands out for his blood wins the duel. Zok is going to eliminate Snow. Bomb planted for mid though, and yes, he's rotated all the way, and he might just catch PH1 here. Let's see this. PH1, there's no way in hell you're expecting somebody to peek on top mid, but he is going to get the frag on Urban, and Yeps is a bit late to the party, I'm afraid. Tap on that bomb once again, and here he is, looking for the frags. Oh no, he's swift. I mean, he, it's a really difficult shot to hit. He can't do it. Flamengo, a good comeback. Three rounds in a row. They're looking to get round number five here at the end. And if they do that, it's very successful. Rikioli versus Zok, and Rikioli is quicker on the trigger, Zok hasn't been on his best form with the Ops so far. Aggression on Ram from the CT side, and we got Yeps lurking in Palace, so Flamengo, they have a good position, you can argue. Now Yeps, is he going to go back or stay here for the rest of the round, and if so... Might be troublesome, but... Flamengo, they don't want to push on T-spawn. Smoke in the window. PH1 is going to use his smoke to block off connector. But there's counter utility from Case. And we got the boost here. Snow... In a powerful position. Oh no, Ale, he is alone on the AD defense in case they want to push here. And Ale, he has a smoke to use, but he doesn't want to reveal his position just yet. The steps, will they be heard? Flash use here by Yeps, and the flash is perfect. Ale, how many can he get? He gets the first, now the second urban and snow come with the trades there. Is Lucas and Danoko versus three, heading for this A retake now. Snow, in a good position. Lucas is going to jump. Here's the flash. Lucas, missed shot, now still has a chance to fight here. But the Nalco is there as well, and he's going to eliminate Snow. Good kill. Urban. And Yeps. Diffuse gets available for the CT side. A frag grenade on Lucas. He switched to the AK, and the AC will be thrown on Ninja. Urban is going to take the Nalco down, and Lucas and Case. They get eight rounds on the first half. Well played. And Flamengo, it was a slow start, but they do get a couple of rounds on this first half. Still though, I don't know if 4 is going to be enough.
Let's take a look at the second half now. Case. Eight rounds already secured on the T side. And they need five on the CT side. We got a defuse kit on a Rikioli and a smoke. Flamingo. You're going to smoke on A here on stairs and jungle. But it's a B hit. It's a fake. And yet he has that off angle. And the crosshair placement is perfect. Sock walks in. To his doom, Ali is going to apply pressure on A here, but the hit is coming on B and Snow is going to take down Danoka, that's the bomb. Lucas eliminates the F, that P250 better get a multi-kill, and Ali is going to find her, and PH1 is going to eliminate Snow. Kills coming in here for the T side, a 3 versus 5 turns into a 3 versus 2, and RCF. He's on B apartments, nice shot on Lucas, and they know where the bomb is now. PH1 is looking to go towards that A side, and he will succeed in doing so. Good jump there, and Ali. Oh, he will have so much information. No one coming from kitchen. Watch out from short. But RCF, he's going to eliminate PH1. Walking around. Trying to get to that third box, but no. And now Ale. One versus two. He's got the clock to work with. Spots one player. Gets a goosh on RCF. Drops him to seven HP. He's got time to cook. And he spots Ricky Oli. RCF holding the cross. Tag on Ally. He's 3 HP. And RCF is going to take him down. Case. It was uh, a nice attempt there from Flamengo coming back from a 3 versus 5 to give, make it 3 versus 2. But after that, it's all Case. It's all RCF. Huge round from him. And Flamengo, the bad news is they didn't even plant the bomb. They have to eco. We got two P250s here, one on, on Danoko and the other on Lucas. Oh my, what a crack in the case. Showing no mercy whatsoever, pushing on it, the entire squad gets slaughtered here. Flamengo, this is where they get tested. This is the turning point. They need this first gun round. Smoke in window, in connector. Another one in connector, weirdly enough, here. I don't know what the big idea was. But either way, the flash to peek on mid. Lucas, though, is ready. Kill found the snow. The flash wasn't the best. I don't think Lucas was fully blinded. Hoping to cast somebody with a B lurk. Case. Outnumbered. CPUs from Urban. They're going to swing on mid. RC with the flat. He's in trouble. Ali is going to take him down. Great timing. B is open. Boys, you can rotate, but yes, he wants a kill. And he's going to swing with the MP9. Lucas with low HP. He's going to fall. And yes, he's going to. Excuse me. Uh, Ricciolo is going to eliminate Danoko. Yes, with a kill. And Lucas, he evens things out here. And the bomb is going towards this A site. In case they've got it wrong. A really good move here from Flamengo. Ali is trying to take as much attention as possible towards this B bomb site, and he has succeeded. But hold on, Urbano is found, PH1, and now will they start rotating? Well, they might. But they know that Ali is on B. Bomb gets planted, and Case are soon going to find out that it is on that A site. But Ali, he has a really strong lurk. Zok, though, taking so much damage from those short players. In case they know that somebody is going to be behind, but the timing is going to favor Ali here. Here it is. The spray, though, is not the best. And Urban, he's got a smoke to use. This is the perfect situation. And yes, he finds a frag on Zog. He's going to jump on that defuse slowly, but surely the round will go for a case. And Ali, he just has to save the AK. If he tries to get any closer, he's just going to lose that gun, and it will be pointless. Case 
It was a sticky situation, but they got out of it. It was three versus five. But they make it work. And Flamengo, that's gotta hurt. This is the last time out. Thankfully, they planted the bomb, so they get some extra money. They get some cash. Flamengo are going to attempt to head for the B side, but look at the utility damage from the CT side. Danoko, Lucas, and PH dropping to half HP. Danoko, kill found on Snow. There's one player behind side of the incendiary is good. Yes, it's one, but Danoko is going to respawn quick. Urban, this small is making life difficult, or maybe it's making life easier because the smoke behind is going to give him some cover, and he finds two big frags, and that smoke as well is going to allow him to reposition safely in kitchen. Lucas eliminates RCF. That's a lurk kill, yes, but the bomb is stuck on that A site. And Lucas, he's heading towards Catwalk, he's got the op, Urban just needs to have good timing. But Lucas, he goes towards TV. Riccioli versus Danoko here on this B site, and the timing might just favor Danoko here, but he's not going to swing. And Riccioli is just getting closer and closer. Urbano is going to find Lucas, and look at this from Danoko, my god. Well played from Case, they get the map point. Urbano, a huge round here with that three piece. The double kill and then catching Lucas coming from the apartments. Flamengo, he's got to buy again, but let's be honest, Case has been the better team on Mirage every single time. Danoko will be the first to fall, Lucas will follow up. Is this going to be the end of Mirage? Aleph uh, praying that that incendiary is not going to spread, and he's good. Snow. Patiently waiting for the smoke to fade, and Sock has no idea. Snow, ruthless. And Urbano is going to find Allen. That leaves just PH1 versus 5 here to keep Flamengo alive on Mirage. But let's be honest, it's not happening. Well played from Cage. They completely destroy Flamengo on Mirage. A deserved victory. Urbano and Snow with an incredible first map. And it was not just those two. It was the entire squad putting up a great work. That first half looked powerful. Eight rounds. And then onto the second one. They just uh, wanted to finish this quick. Uh, and Flamengo, they did get close a couple of times. The one notable round that they lost, that five versus three. But uh, I don't think it would have made a difference. Uh, I think at this point, if you're Flamengo, you just try to forget whatever happened on Mirage and focus on your map pick. That is Inferno. We will take a break and we will continue with the second map of the series.
13 to 4 on the first map of the series. A pretty convincing victory there for Case as they are looking to finish this match 2-0. Now we are on Inferno. Flamengo looking to make a comeback. And Inferno is not a bad map for them. So let's see if they can come alive now. They need a good start. They need the pistol. And they're planning to hit on this B site. No utility whatsoever. Just five players running in. We got three defenders from Case. Lucas. Making contact with RCF, and look at Snow. Snow is so deep on apartments, but Ali, he might... This is going to be interesting. Who's going to hit the better timing first? Because Flamengo, they're going back, but if they go back, Snow, he should be able to see them. Here's Snow, the first kill is his. Alright, to connect those shots, and Zok is going to respawn quick. Now, Flamengo, what do you do? Do you continue A? Yes, you do. RCF is still defending from sight. Player spotted on Winehouse, that's the Eps. And now RCF, here he is. He's not able to get anything done. Danoko with one Urbano. He's going to eliminate Ale. The Dulies are still on his hands. And Flamengo, it's a good position here. Three versus three. No defuse for the CT side. Danoko stuck on site here. Vicky is going to find Zok. Urbano is going to eliminate Danoko and Lucas. Lucas from Apartments. Urbano is jumping on the defuse. Weirdly enough, not paying attention at all to Apartments and Vicky He has to reposition here. Lowest people for Vicky Lucas, this is so possible. He gets another frag and there is not enough time. Lucas has played this to perfection. Flamengo, they secure the pistol round. It's a one versus three clutch from Lucas. Case they have the man advantage. It was weird to see Urbano just jump on that defuse and completely ignore Lucas on apartments. But from now on, he will be more cautious. The utility usage here from Case, they've done so much nade damage. Hanley drops the 11 HP, smoke use from EFC is the only defender here. And Flamengo, do you push that smoke? I don't think so with the HP. They are going to patiently wait. Vicioli though, pushing on mid, he's going to eliminate Lucas, no, and Vicioli get two frags here, the MP9 is coming from behind, and they know that Flamengo are stuck on banana now, Flamengo, this is such a bad position to be in, Halle is low HP, you've used the smoke to block off behind, but how do you continue forward, that is a question, Urbano, 7 kill on Ale, Danoko finally kill for Flamengo and the second one, can he be the savior? No he cannot, it's just not enough for long in case they lose the pistol round, but my god do they respond quick. Flamengo, they won the pistol. But after that, yeah, don't know what to tell you. Force by back from Flamengo incendiary used by Urbano, but it's not going to be respected. The follow-up frag grenade is good. And another incendiary here. In case they have so much information. And Urbano wants to fight the Galil. Gets one kill. He's going to go back, but Ala takes down Yeps. And Urbano is in trouble. Smoke used. RCF on C to the spray is good for one frag. Looking to do more damage here. The flash is perfect. The MP9 comes in from Ricky to get one kill. Zok with the Tech 9 will get shut down, leaving only Lucas alone. He's picked up the M4A1 as he has the smoke to work with, but not even a time to use it. Case are going to win the second round.
the economy is broken. And now we got an eco from Flamengo. Flashes to push second mid, RCM, the spray transfer is good, but Zok is going to shut him down, still though. That's not going to be enough for even a bomb plant here, but you can do more damage. A good frag grenade, send here, follow up, then okay, if you don't want to go out, you will have to go out. And he's got two things with the Glock. Looking for the frag, he all actually eliminates snow, and Zok is going to arrive from boiler, hold on, case. You need to be careful. Urbano, in a good position, bomb is down, Zok has got a smoke to use, but it's going to peak dry, and Urbano is going to eliminate him. RCF holding mid with the op and is going to get the frag on Zok. Urbano, flash used, and the second one, that is such a good bait. And the incendiary follow up down, okay, that's a reposition. Lucas, okay! Nice shot on Urbano. Ale pushing the smoke, we've seen the blue, he's gonna place on Mirage as well, and it works out once again. Ricky Oli will get caught. Snow. Bomb is on Lucas and he's going towards apartment. Snow is looking to catch the B player and he's probably going to succeed here. And with the. Oh, hold on. He's going back, but the steps have they been heard? Snow is going to eliminate Lucas. Oh no, that's the bomb. And RCF with the off finds Danoko. And Ale, he will get a freebie again. But time is running out here. 35 seconds. Snow is on his own. And yep. He's already on that A side now. Snow will be the first to fall on this two versus two. PH survives with one HP. And what's the decision here? Oh, Flamengo. They're going to commit to A. Yep, he's in the perfect position. The first kill is going to be easy. Looking for the second now. Ale, who's got two frags already, needs to win this one for Flamengo. And Ale is going to shut him down. Nice shot. Big triple kill. Flamengo, they get round number two. Timeout call from Flamengo. Case, money is not good for RCF, but the rest of the squad can buy. AWP draw from Snow to RCF, he's going to make the sacrifice. Here it is, a leg shot on Zok. Great HE utility here from Case. Look at the damage on PH and Lucas. It's not the first time that we're seeing Case be on point with their util. On CT. A third player has survived here from Case. That's the off on RCF. Flamengo. A 
Another smoke to smoke response here. Flamengo though, they're leaning toward this A side and we got the high low from Riccioli and Snow, but it's not ideal. The MP9 and the Deagle only in case no one will be there on time to help uh, to help the duo. If they don't get two kills, this is going to be an immediate save from the CT side, but let's see it. Riccioli, MP9, good for the first frag. He cannot drop just yet here. Lucas is going to eliminate Riccioli. Now the bait for Snow the Deagle. He's been spotted and he will fall. Alley eliminates him in case. They're going to save. Play from Flamengo. They will tie the score. We got the save weapons, the op on RCF, smoke, excuse me. Oh, the M4 on, yes, I was about to say, but RCF, he's going to take down PH1. That's a good start with the sniper. Five versus four, and he's still standing with that AWP. On Benen, on sandbags, it is a very dangerous position, and as soon as that Molotov comes, he's going to reposition. RCF, Kilthan on Danoko. Another frag here with the Yop and Flamengo. They are in trouble. This is getting out of hand now. And they want to commit to this B side, but look at the response from Cage. They have three more players here. Smoke used on Ruins, yes, but Lucas Alley, a team kill in the mix. But he finds Urbano and RCF in a better position here. Zok is going to walk into his crosshair. Flamengo. Snow. The USV doesn't want to peek just yet. Ale is in so much trouble. He can start running towards that A side, but no. It's not always going to take him down in case they retake the lead. A huge round from RCF. Triple kill with that AWP. Timeout used from Case. They know that Flamengo should have another buy, but if they lose this one, they will be broke. So it's a really good opportunity to break them. RCF with the AWP once again. Lucas. The Asian Danoko get two frags. Okay, Flamengo coming back after losing a round like that. 
Snow, he will find Alley. That's a good kill, that's a lurker. Yep, the HE will deal a great amount of damage, but the flashes are raining in, and Yeps is in trouble here. Vicioli is on CT to assist, they have a really good crossfire. Vicioli gets one. Yeps with a double kill, it's just Lucas now. 40 HP remaining, and Yeps is alone, he has the ESP to work with, and he's trying to saw as much as possible before Snow arrives, but Lucas, he should be able to get this one. There it is, kill found, now down to the 1v1. Snow. Making his way from Banana, and Lucas, he has no utility, tap on that bomb once, and Snow, he's patiently waiting, Lucas, he's got time to go towards that A site, and that's what he's thinking about, but Snow, he's going to get closer and closer, and he will soon find out that there might be no one's sight, but he isn't taking CT in account. And Lucas, oh, is he going to go back B? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, he will start running, and Snow, he probably heard him. He heard... Lucas starting to run, so he will go there. Bomb has been planted. Snow, he's got a diffuse hit, smoke, and a frag grenade. Trying to use the smoke on the bomb, and Lucas, he spotted snow before that smoke bloomed, and Lucas saved Flamengo. What a round, double kill from Danoko and double from Lucas. Timeout call from Flamengo. case. They got money to buy again. You have that up on RCF. Yep, so with the USP only. Is there a gun on spawn? He will find out soon enough that he doesn't have anything. Surely you remember, right? That is a bit concerning. Yep, it's only on the USP. Ale, Mac 10, Riccioli and Snow in apartments, and Riccioli is going to rotate, well, go back for that. Okay, RCF, hello, what happened here, Case? How do you allow that to happen? Oh, a messy spray from Snow, but he gets the job done. And yep, he's still defending this beat over the USPS. Case. Yep, so that stuff was heard. Snow, he's got the flash to work with and he will be thrown. There is no smoke on CT from Flamengo. Snow and yes, but the USB is going to find the kill. Urbano is going to join the fun and eliminate Lucas, leaving just Sock with his scout. One versus four. Case, they went round number five. We've been going back and forth between these two teams on Inferno these past couple of rounds. It's been exciting to watch, but we reached the point where one of the teams is going to get broken economically. And unfortunately for Flamengo, it's them.
It's a scout on Zok and Pistol for Flamengo. H1 for the Glock. Incendiary from Riccioli is perfectly on and the MP9. My god, there is no way in hell you're entering that A side alley. The AG is good, and the thing combined with the Tech 9. He's looking for the second frag here. Snow is inside, and he's in trouble. Getting chased, playing ring around the Rosie, and Ali's going to eliminate him too, making a round possible. Incendiary after that AG, yes. But the Incendiary. It's not going to reach Ale. And PH1 with a picked up AK is going to eliminate the Eps. Cage, this started so well, 5 versus 3. But it's not looking like it's going to end well. Urbano on apartment, but time is running out, and Zok is going to eliminate him. And I don't believe it, but Flamengo, they win the round. With pistols and case, he started so good. Ricky Ola got a big double kill with the MP9. How did the defense crumble after that? Either way, we are tied once again, five to five. Well, case, so they got the MP9s, and you have the op on RCF. Yep, so the first smoke cues, Flamengo. Looks so they want to push this time around. Let's see how that works out. Another smoke cues by Yeps, and he's in the corner. The flash is good. Danoko is the first man in charge, and those flashes are so good. Yeps doesn't even have a chance to react and face this round over. Flamengo, they will take the lead. That's round number six. And case. You have to save, even though it's not ideal, the MP9s, but you have to save. Yeah, if he's going to get one, Snow eliminates Lucas, looking for the second, stuck in the corner though. Okay, they're looking to get these exits, and if they get the M4s, or AKs, that's a job well done. But the Riccioli is a bit far, I'm afraid, I don't know if he's going to be able to reach. Nah, he's fine, okay. Aggression on second mid, Riccioli doesn't spot anybody, there's a player to the left side and Riccioli stands around and finds out RCF dancing in the smoke with this AWP, but then Noka's going to eliminate him. And B side is open, Case, they've risked it. Stay four players on A and have only Danoka on B, but the flank is going to be so quick here from Riccioli and Urbano. Yep, here's Riccioli, Zoc is going to eliminate him and he's part of the second player I believe. He has a fine position, a missed shot though, double scoped and Urban not able to eliminate him eventually, he will for the second time. Ale on sandbags, Urban, is he going to clear it? It doesn't look like he will, and Ale will get a freebie. No defuse kit here for Snow and Yeps, they have utility though, smoke will be used on Banana. And Yeps, he has to charge with this Famasa player on third box and Lucas on dark, tap on that bomb once time is running out here. Danoko eliminates, no, and Yeps will fall, Flamengo. Seven rounds on this first half. We can see how important it was to win that tug of war on round number 10.
Flamengo. They're looking good so far on Inferno. They want to take us to the third. Now they are on the CT side. Let's see how well they do. We got Dulies on Danoka and Lucas. Danoka gets one, traded by Urbano. Urbano spots another player here. Shying away from a fight. And Flamengo, they have three more defenders on this A side. Ale and Boiler can be a big problem here if they're not careful. Here's Ale, kill, found on Ricola. Yep, so an RCF. Ale, are you kidding me? What the hell just happened? He finds four kills? Oh my god! Ale, he's having an incredible inferno so far. 15 frags. Great impact on that first half. And this is how we start the second one. Oh baby. Nuke is right around the corner. He's feeling it. He doesn't want to... Give up just yet. Flash used to enter Banana Danoko. He's found one frag, low HP though. Thankfully he's not alone, Lucas is with him, but they're running out of ammunition. The dualies are here from Lucas. And he will get three Danoko. He got eliminated, but he got his two. So that's fine. A four round lead here for Flamengo. And they're getting ready for the first gun round of the second map. Used, but that smoke is well time from case. Otherwise, we heal it would be dead. Boosted, that incendiary is good from Flamengo. Danoko is looking to fight again. Nice HE from Lucas. Case. They still have banana. And they got a lot of smoke to work with. So running out of time here. 30 seconds are going to run towards this A side. Smoke use from Yepson Long, and that will give the cue. Ale will start running towards A. Urbano, he's got a smoke as well to use. Refusing to use it, weirdly enough. He's going to throw it on short, and the flashes follow up. Zuck is on site, currently alone, but he has the help of PH1. And Snow is going to take down PH1, and here's Zog, one kill found, looking for the second. Help has arrived in the form of Ali, he's going to eliminate RCA, but Vicioli takes down Zog. Vicioli, one more kill found, but time. There's not enough time for Case to plant the bomb, and that will be round number 10 for Flamengo. So far, so good for Flamengo. I wasn't paying attention to the clock at all. Zock.
case. Might use it for a bite. Respected on no call. He will fall, but Lucas got the trade on Snow with that incendiary. Even numbers, four versus four. Thirty seconds again, case. Playing this to the last moment, and Lucas with the AK. Waiting for that flash to pop so he can start spraying through the smoke, or when that sound cue hits. Here it is, the spray from... Oh my, the response from Urbano, Lucas, you want to fight through the smoke? I'll give you a fight. Kill found, and that should be round. Flamengo, you're not going to risk these weapons. Case, okay. They are a couple of rounds behind. It's a slow start on the second half, but Flamengo, if they lose the next round, they will be broke, which means Case would get to eight. And all of a sudden, the second map becomes hella interesting. I'm out call by Flamengo. An MP9 will be dropped at Danoko most probably. See what happens on round number 17. Flamengo off the great start with utility. Snow and Ricky are already taking damage. Danoko. Here's the first kill found. Not the second running out of ammunition. And Urbano takes him down. That flash from Lucas is a bit late, I'm afraid. Cannot save his teammate. Kill found from Sock on apartment. That's the to fall, the lurker. Not able to do much here. Flamengo, you've got a man advantage and the beat defense. Lucas and Ally. First kill is his on the flash from Ali, so good. Urbana again finding that raid. But here's Ali, the perfect timing, and he gets both frags. Flamengo, they get to 11.
more round here for Flamengo to take us to the third map. Case they lose another player is Danoka again to start off with a frag on banana and this time he doesn't get traded. So Flamengo keep this man advantage. PH1 shooting ghosts. Case, 60 seconds remaining. They look to retake Banana here. Lucas and Danoko. They're patiently waiting. They have smokes, both of them, so. Case, this is not looking good, I gotta say. Another smoke on Danoko. You're running down the clock once again. You have to push through that smoke, and you have no HE. No, actually, you do. Urbano, he's got a frag grenade. But let's see it, Lucas and Danoko, can they defend here? Lucas is going to eliminate Urbano, that flash is good, but Lucas is somehow still alive here. Vicchioli, he's pushed on spawn. Oh, he got spotted. He just got spotted by the op, and if he tries to go to the other side, RCF, it's a team kill on Yep. Things go from bad to worse here for Case as Zog takes down Vicchioli. RCF. Oh my, a missed shot, and he's being chased by the Wolves. Flamengo are not going to let him live no matter what happens. The Macdan picked up here for RCF, but he will fall after time. Zero dollars. Flamengo, they got map point. We got Tech 9, 3 Mac 10s, and a rush on B. Danoko, he's been good so far, but he cannot deliver this time. Lucas is going to sign call the defense. The lineup, Lucas! Quad kill, MPH1 with the last. Okay, that was a quick finish here from Flamengo. They give Case a taste of their own medicine, getting destroyed on each other's map picks. 13 to 4 on Revage, 13 to 6 on Inferno Flamengo. Come back, that was a really strong showing. Well played from them, and we got a third map. Nuke will be coming up next to see who is going to be the winner of this match.
Flamengo versus Case. The first match of the day here for the America Season 6. And we've had two interesting maps. A 13 to 4 Mirage, the choice of Case. And then when we uh, went into Ver Inferno, excuse me, we didn't know what to expect. But Flamengo did wake up. I gotta say, Ale had some incredible impact for Flamengo on that Inferno. He was crucial to win some very important rounds on that first half of Inferno where they got seven total and then on the second one yeah Flamengo they were ready for everything that Cage threw at them so uh, now we will need Nuke to see who is going to be the winner of this match and advance to the playoff stage of European Pro League World Series uh, America season six Case and Flamengo, they've been two interesting teams to watch and now we will witness them on Nuke as we just saw Flamengo won the knife round so most definitely they will start on the CT side um, and take it from there. Uh, you could tell on Inferno that the the first couple of rounds are very important for both of these teams because the closest we've ever been on Inferno was of course five to five, but it was five to four for Case. They lose that round and then they lose a lot more after. So let's see it. We got Case on the T side and Flamengo as expected on the defense here. Dooley's dropped by Zok and Lucas is going to pick those up we also have a flash on Zok and the second pair of duelies on Danoko and from Case smoke on Yeps flash on Rikiola and the P250 that got dropped for RCF to find any potential frags here on outside but Flamengo no better and they're not peeking at least not in the beginning here comes the smoke to give the space Case Zok. Flamengo should have a good idea that it is very possible that Case could have gone outside. I say that, but they have no idea. And Rubano, he will get the first frag, spots the second player. Allo with the trade in the meantime on Riccioli. Zok has revived, and Lucas with the duelies. He gets a frag on Yeps as well after the headshot on Urbano. Leaving just one player, RCF. One versus three here. The P250, he's been spotted. And we got PH1 behind config. The timing, oh, PH1, PH1, he's not turning his head in RCF. All right, PH1 will be very surprised as to where the hell did this guy disappear. But he has no idea that RCF is going towards heaven. And Flamengo, they got it all wrong. The entire squad is on that B bomb side. So RCF, he got a bit lucky. He will be able to plant that bomb on A. He's on for the clutch, no diffuses. Let's see how well he does. He knows about all three players, it looks like. Flash used by Zot, and they will come out swing. And RCF, he's got the P250 and Kevlar, but struggling to connect his shots, reloading. And yeah, he will not have a chance to shoot again. Flamengo, they win the pistol. But Case, they planted the bomb. And it just feels like Case could have played that better. Because they got the first kill for free. It was 5 versus 4. But Lucas and Zok, the multi kills from these two players. Especially Lucas. His multi kill was very important. Urbano with Galil, it will be snow to get the frag on Zok, Urbano will fall, Lucas looking for one more here but running out of ammunition, Ale has found snow, yes with the trade through the smoke, M4 upgrade for Danoko, he's going to reload that bad boy. Even numbers, three versus three, but Flamengo, they're not just sitting and waiting. They're getting information, they're getting proactive. Oh, 
late. Dropping on vents. He goes. He will fall to RCF. Good kill found by Case. And now they will march on this B site. To plant that bomb. No diffuses here for PH1 and Danoko. This is a very difficult retake, but they still want to try and see if they can get something done. Incendia available on Danoko. That will be thrown behind Silo. And yeah, they know. They have to save. It's too risky. You will just lose the M Forge most likely here. So, Case, the Forge by. Well played, Danoko. Are you safe there? I think he is. Case are going to tie the score. Terrorists win. Okay. Two players fall to the bomb explosion, but it's okay. Timeout call from Flamengo. They save two M Forge. They will forge by into this, of course. MP9 is dropped by Danoko and PH1 for Lucas and Zok. Ale, he's got a 5 7 to work with. on the A side here from Cage. The flashes are good, but Jeff is blind as well. But he still gets a frag on Danoko. PH1 with the trade. PH1 finds another. Ale with a 5-7. Not able to find anything, but PH1 is doing so much here. That Molotov, yeah, he's got to respect it. Cage, this is the best, best opportunity to plant that bomb, but they're not feeling safe. Just have the smoke on main. Just faded. Another one picked up here by Snow, and he has a frag grenade to work with. On that bomb, RCF is going to plant it. No defuse here for the CT side. Snow, that HE can be really good here, but he's not using it just yet. RCF. From Banks, and he will get the first kill. Smoke fades, and Snow is not showing himself just yet. RCF is just trying to bait. He's got two flashes, too. Snow is going to eliminate Ale, and Cage handle this one really good. Well played from RCF and Snow. Beautifully handled. Two versus three. Great positioning. And RCF getting that first fag, it just makes this so much easier. Yeah, yes, fees in a P2000 here for Flamengo. Has no, gets one. Nothing more than that. Too close with the AK. Not able to collect the multi kill, but Ricky, holy. Catches a stray bullet. Ace. They are going to win the round. Lucas. Saving this AK would not be a bad idea. So he's going to try to stick to it. In case, Yeps might go for the hunt, but I don't think anybody else will, nor should they. You want to build this economy? PH, RCF, not expecting this at all. Another rifle here to be saved. Good attempt at least, because here's Yeps, here's PH1. More damage being done. He might fall to the bomb, but it's okay. He's done good damage. Two big kills.
It was a nice round from Flamengo, even though they lost it. Considering they had USPs in the P2000, they do a good job of doing damage to the economy. One here's the steps, and Incendia dropped, and he's ready for a fight. The flashes are good, though. Okay, so you've got ramp, and they will continue with the B push. PH1 and Ally are about to get tested here on this defense. Rikiol is going to eliminate PH1. That's a good start. The door is open, and Rikiol finds a second with the help of Yeps. And this is round over. We are on nuke, so it doesn't really take much to win rounds here. One kill or two, make it a 5v3, and you know immediately that the CT side has to save. And that is going to be quite a challenge now. So now he spotted a couple of players here. Nice shot from Lucas. Good bait from Danoko on stairs. Okay, so they can hunt if they want to. They have time, but no. The last round was very expensive. They lost a lot of players. So this time, they want to make sure that they got cash secured for the following rounds, even if they happen to lose a couple of them. But in the meantime, that's extending the lead now. 4 to 1, and Zok is in trouble. He's alone on CT. Spawn flash used high. And he only has 9 bullets. Urbano, another flash here, and Zaka's not ready for that at all. Urbano is going to take him down. But since Danoka and Lucas survive, it's fine. They can buy again, no problem. Ale in a good position here, Case. They've used the outside smokes already, but no one crossed towards Secret, and now they are risking it with these walkouts. Molotov by Riccioli. Is he going to clear it? Yes, he is. The left side. Nice shot on Alley, who got the ding, but he had the weaker weapon, the M4. Danoko will drop into Vents immediately and hold this. And Lucas, is he going to get time? RCF is going to eliminate him, and that really, literally paves the ground for Yeps to enter this empty bomb site. And Flamengo, once again, it's a similar situation like the last time. Three versus five. You gotta say. Flamengo won the pistol round, but everything after that went the way of Case. Round number five in a row. Yeps with a the hunt. There's a play in trophy room, and Zok will fall. And Yeps needs to be careful. Oh, Snow. Snow, not like this. Come on, show some mercy. PH1 so out positioned, outplayed Danoko. Is he going to survive? Oh my, what a tap on Urbano. Okay, that was a sexy shot. But Case, they're not stopping in Flamengo. Yeah, as expected, timeout called.
Flamengo, will they be able to stop Case? So far, they haven't even got close, I'm afraid. Smokes used on outside by Case. On this time, they're going to push with these smokes. Allen in main, he's not alone. Danoka is with him. The incendiary is going to delay a bit here. In the meantime, Lucas and Ale are waiting. But now it will be just Lucas, I believe. I don't think he's going to go up vents, but Case, they're not interested in secret just yet. That peak on heaven, though. I believe PH1 got some valuable information. And now he's patiently holding. But Ricky Oli, he's not going to go up. He gets spotted. PH is going to take him down. Good start for the CT side. Yep, small top use. He's got VAM control. And he will drop. He'll hit the B side. Snow is going to eliminate PH1. We still have two defenders from the CT side on the lower bomb side. It's Lucas and Ale. These MP9s. Here's Lucas, but what a shot from RCF. That was so quick. And Ale, he's been great on Inferno. A quiet start on Nuke, but this might be his round where he finds himself only one though. Danoko. Chasing, but gets smoked off and pushing. This is risky. He knows that he might just lose his AK, but he still wants to try this. And Snow is going to hit him in the back of his head. Leaving only Zuck. He's got the MP9, but no armor because he's saving for that AWP. In case, it's going to be another round. That makes it six now. That's nearly 50% of the job done. Yep, spots the leggies and Zonk falls. RCF is going to lose his life to the bomb, but it's no biggie. The AWP got picked up. A nice try here from Flamengo. He started well. Ale will start things off with the frag on Snow. Flamengo, they needed a good start. RCF is going to eliminate Danoko. And look at this. Yep, how the hell is he out there? He's fine. Three frags. Lucas Ale, MPH1, not ready whatsoever. Did he do the twist play, the Rops play? Silo, main, entering that site? And Flamengo, they were so focused on Hut that they had no idea there was an enemy. Behind them already. Huge round by Eps and Flamengo. It is another save. They can't catch a break. They're getting run over. They're getting destroyed on Nuke. Shameless. Zok. A WP. This shot. Not for the second time though. We got a tech pause here. At the same time, it might give Flamengo some time to reflect. And it's not like they're playing bad. But case, they are just better. Simply better. No other way to put it.
Flamengo, they played some good Counter Strike on Inferno, but I'm gonna repeat, or I'm going to mention once again the thing that I said in the beginning. The beginning of each map is very important for both of these teams. Case, they had a good start in Mirage, they don't stop. Flamengo, a difficult start. But as soon as they broke the economy and they got three rounds in a row, it's like a snowball effect for these Brazilian teams, for Brazilian Counter-Strike. It's so momentum-based. And it's the same thing um, happening on Nuke. Okay, so they have a great start. They lose Pistol, but they win two, three rounds. And they win so much confidence in Flamengo on the side. They lose mentally. It's hard to accept that defeat. In case, Brazil, 7-1. to one. We saw this exact same scoreline on Mirage, and look at how that ended. 13-4. to four. It is not looking good, but the good news for Flamengo is they got more Counter-Strike to play. If you've just tuned in, this is the first match of the day. It's a qualification match for the playoff stage. So Flamengo, if they lose this one, they're not out of the event just yet. They will have another opportunity to fight for that playoff spot. Push from Case here on the vents. Lucas, he's got a frag on Snow, but Bomb made it. Let's see how this works out for Case. I don't think Yef is going to go for that Bomb plant when he's alone here. No. He's going for Secret. Used by Lucas. Some presence on the outside here. Lucas eliminates Yeps. Lucas so far. And look at that. Spray through the smoke. Urbano was just chilling, not doing anything to anybody, but Lucas chose violence. And RCM finally finds one. But Flamengo, this should be their round. There it is. Well played from Flamengo. They get round number two. Seven to two, case. Money is not a problem, of course. They can buy again. Outside smoke's used, but nobody has committed towards secret. It's just snow lurking. RCF is going to eliminate Zock. That's a good start here for case. VH1, that flash, yes, but the Molotov is not going to allow him entry in case. They're not going to waste any more time. They're going to head for the B site. Thirty-five seconds remaining here in case they haven't committed to that B shot like I mentioned earlier. They went back. Go found by Vicky All and Dan Elkor Vicky All they will also eliminate Lucas. Yes, PH1 got one fag, but one is not enough. And RCF is ready for his repositioning, leaving only Allen. One versus four with the AUG in case. Yep.
Round number eight for Case. We have the op on Zark once again holding ramp. Last time he lost the battle. And that left very much space for Flamengo to cover. Henley couldn't. Presence on outside here from Case VH1 hiding. Behind the AC. Smokes are about to fade, and PH1 will get some information at least. There's no one on coming towards heaven, but Ale will be waiting for secret. And here is Ale. He needs a multi kill. The swing from Ricky all with the crosshair. Placement is perfect. My god, he can do no wrong. Ale will fall. B side is open. Zock, he needs a kill and he needs it quick. That up, holding long at the same time. Last room. But the Molotovs are going to make life very hard here. Tap on that bomb from Urbana, but he's going to reposition for the bomb plant. And Flamengo, yes, you've got the defuse kit, but can you get a frag to start this retake? PH1, close in the distance. Zaki's found a frag on Yeps, and Lucas is going to eliminate Snow. That was a lurker, but there's a second one. Incendiary on default. PH1 finds Urbano. Looking for the third, but Zok is so prepared. RCF the flash and opens the door. He gets one kill, but Flamengo a very good retake here. Big double kill from TH1. Oh, it looks like he only got one. But either way, Flamengo get round number three. Last round of the first half. Case looking for nine. Flamengo looking for four. Zock. Sniper on his hands, holding ramp. Outside smokes, yes. Snow nearly gets exposed, but that frag grenade is not good enough from the CT side here. Otherwise, he would have been a dead man. Zock. Heard a step and the booze. Zock is so ready for this one. RCF, the peak, yes, but you're not going to pre aim Zock's position. I don't think so. RCF, waiting for the perfect time. Zock patiently holding, like he's been doing for the last 30 seconds or so. Here it is, leg spotted. Kill found by Zog on Urbano. 40 seconds remaining for Case. No, he's got Ven rotations. Ricky always going to open the doors. And oh my, he was not ready for that, but neither was Zog, and he misses again. Zog is in so much trouble. The smoke is going to give him some cover in the no scope lands. But RCF is going to return the favor with a no scope of his own. Bomb will go down. Snow waiting for the vent die, but at the same time, Ale. Oh my, the timing is incredible. Snow nearly gets a third, but gets shut down by Danoko. The fuse gets available here for the CT side. Flash ready, Danoko. RCF is going to dodge that one. And the second, not so. But he's got a good position here. Danoko, pre-buying everything. Now he knows, but RCF takes him down. Lucas, though, 
He's found the frag on Ricky Oli, down to the 1v1, RCF is going to close the doors, and then just open them. But Lucas sticking on that defuse, beautifully played by Lucas, all that experience on the majors and the higher tournaments than this one. He knows what he's doing. Flamengo, they get a fourth round here, but it's shaky. It's not what you wanted on the CT side to get only four. Case are five rounds away from making it to the playoff stage of America season six. Flamengo. They got a mountain to climb on this T side, but let's see how well they do. They planted the A side, two Molotovs, two flashes, and a smoke. Snow, he's got the dualies. And Ricky Oli is with him on site. Snow taking some damage, has to reposition here. That Molotov is not the best because it blocks off Danoko as well, but he's going to run through the flames. Kills coming in here for the T side, but Snow is going to eliminate Danoko, and we had a team kill in the mix for Flamengo, which is not ideal. And Lucas is not in the greatest position. Snow, three frags found from him on this A side. Only Zoc coming a bit late to the party here, and this is no easy task. Bomb is down, and Snow with the duelies, he is expecting this. And here it is, another shot by Snow. A huge round from him. Case. They win the second pistol. That's 9 to 4. No bomb plan for Flamengo. It is a dire situation to be in. Got a flash on Lucas and Glocks. RCF spots one. Flash out. RCF is blind. Ali is going to come every Kioli. RCF first kill down at the second. Nearly a third. Ooh, Snow is going to save his teammate. Oh, that was Yaps. Either way. Case double digits.
Flamengo. Now they got a buy. Ricky Oli ready with the incendiary on hand if Flamengo are going to execute on the safe side. So far, they're chilling. PA, she's going to throw outside smokes. Danoko is going to make use of those. There's snow in garage. And the up on RCF holding ramp. Grenade is good, it's decent. Snow is going to find Danoko. Was not ready for that. Oh my, the spray through the smoke from Snow. PH1 lucky to be alive that Snow ran out of ammunition, but the F is going to catch PH1. Not a good start to the first gun on the second half. Flamengo, they're struggling a lot. And eventually, they have to commit to a bomb site. Smoke used. On main, Urbana is going to eliminate Zog, Ale. Oh no, not even that kill! It's just Lucas, but not for long, Case! They get to 11 and Flamengo, they can't even step into the bomb plant area. Having only four rounds when he won the first pistol. Yeah, I think that tells a lot about the quality of these two teams. Once again, I'm going to remind you guys of another last season case. They went to the grand final, but they lost to Ardic. Snow. Kill at the second. Long range fights. I don't know what Flamengo were thinking here, but certainly it works out for Snow. Case, they got match point. They need one more round to make it to the playoff stage. And Flamengo. This would be one hell of a comeback. Up on Zok. RCF is going to miss the shot and the audio there burns just a bit because we have so much utility. Ale. Let's wait to the small. He's going to deal some damage to Urbano. Zark holding for any outside aggression. the outside smokes. Lucas is going to eliminate Ricky Oli. Snow, can he find a multi-kill? Snow, he gets the kill on Danoko. The counter spray here from Urbano is good. Flash, excuse me, made and incendiary. Zox survives with 34 HP. And Flamengo, they're taking ramp. Yep, he hears the steps. Urbano has rotated and he's been quiet. Only six kills is his name. Urbano, door is open, he gets a bag on Ale, and the bomb planter, he's missed the spray. But he's not going to give up just yet, low HP though. Look at this should be an easy fag, there it is, Urbano will fall, but in the meantime, Snow found Zog. So it's a two versus two, diffuse gets available here. Snow will fall to PH1, and only Yeps. And they know where he is. Lucas doesn't want to fight, and Yeps is not going to clear that corner, so Flamengo. They live to fight another day, Lucas. He's been playing good Counter-Strike, but he can do it all of an, all on his own.
Flank us. We got a triple kill last time. And it feels like that's the only way for Flamengo to win rounds. It's if a player gets a triple kill or more. Outside smokes used. Molly. Secret and Snow is going to respond with an incendiary and he's going to break that smoke. There is no first smoke though. It's, well, Snow is out to play and he got a thing on Danoka, 2 HP remaining. Urbano paying attention to that door because Ale is throwing some utility. And Flamengo, they're going to break that smoke for a fight. Zok is going to find Snow. 5 versus 4 Flamengo. They're not scared to fight outside. They got multiple players. Let it keep it. Yoli. Still found on PH1. Ali is going to respond quick with a MAC 10 though. And now the AWP. Oh, RCF, this should be his kill. A leg shot, he will chase with a USB shortly here. Ale is in trouble. He somehow survives. RCF not able to get that kill, which means the retake is off here. Case. It would probably give this a shot if Ale got killed in Danoko. 2 HP, 2. And Snow knows that he didn't somebody. But Ale surviving means that Flamengo won the round. Case are not going to risk these weapons. Urbano, Ale will fall, Lucas is making noise, so they know that he's coming, but it doesn't matter, Lucas, big double kill, and he's going to survive the bomb explosion here, that uncle will not die, oh Lucas, 1 HP, my god, well, Flamengo, alright, another round, Mango are going to exit on the safe side in case they're not here. Snow is going to eliminate Danoko. The push from main with the pistols gets shut down quick by Lucas and Ali. RCF, sniper on his hand. He's here in the steps. He gets a kill on PH1. And he's headed towards outside. Ali. They know that he's there, but they're not sure if he's on spawn or not. RCF stuck between a rock and a hard place. Ooh, kill found on Zog. Now it's behind though. And RCF, what a shot that is! I think he's earned the respect to survive here, but Lucas thinks different. Lucas nearly got the shot. RCF, thankfully, he had that smoke. But Flamengo, they get another round here. Case. It was the eco. I like this decision from Case. Timeout called. They want to finish this. They don't want to allow Flamingo to even think about a comeback.
Nice. Looking for the final nail in the coffin. RCF. Holding ramp. RCF. Kill found on Zark. That was really good. Molotov dude, but it's not going to affect the flashes. Are right, missing. Well, not this one. PH. He's holding, but RCF in the repositioning is smart and he hits the shots on PH1 looking for the third frag. RCF taking matters into his own hands to finish this match. Ale, Lucas, and Danoko versus three. Danoko is a good position. Headshot on Ricchioli. And now he will patiently wait for the rotations. RCF. Going to reposition, Lucas smoke used in front to make sure that he can cross the fence, but it's not the best smoke there. Al is going to eliminate Yebs. RCF, his third kill of the round found on Danoko. Looking for the last two here. Urbano is going to find Lucas and it, that just leaves Ala, but not for long. In case they are the first squad to make it to the playoff stage of EPL World Series America Season 6. Really well played from Snow and RCF and Case. I think we can all agree that they were the better time, uh, the better team today. Flamengo is not over for them just yet though. Like we mentioned that they got more Counter-Strike to play. And this was not a bad showing. I mean Inferno was looking strong. Mirage? No. Nuke? The first half could have been much better than four rounds. Especially after you won the pistol. But they didn't show up. On the other side... RCF and Snow, they destroyed Flamengo on Nuke, each with 23 frags. And totally, um, it was uh, some really good Counter-Strike being played by Snow and the entire squad of Case. And I'm looking forward to see what they have to offer on the playoff stage. But for now, we will take a break because we got one more match coming up. And that is going to be Galore versus 9Z Academy. One of these teams is going to get eliminated. But let's find out who after the break.
Welcome back, everybody. We sent one of the teams to that playoff stage. It was, it was Case winning versus Flamengo 2-1. to one. Now it's time for us to send one of these teams home. Although they are playing most likely from their homes or it's an online tournament, so you get my point. Uh, we got Galores versus 9Z Academy. This is the loser's match, which means if they lose this one, they are out of the event. 9Z Academy, they lost versus Flamengo 2-0. It was a very close matchup, as I mentioned in the beginning. 16-14 uh, on the first map, and then 13-9 uh, on Inferno. On the other hand, for... Uh, Galoris, they lost versus Case. It was close to Mirage, at least 13 to 11 in favor of Case. And then on their map, pick, Galoris didn't really show up. On Ancient, they lost 13 to 7. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's take a look at the V though. The first pick is going to be Ancient, the choice of 9Z. That is their best map. And Galoris will go for Inferno. And the last one is going to be Anubis. We saw a third map last time between Case versus Flamengo. Are we going to see a third map again? Well, um, I think the favorites here, we can safely say that uh, are Galoris. Nines the Academy, they haven't really had any uh, big appearances on HLTV, let's say, events. Uh, they've been playing mostly uh, lower tournaments. Uh, and the last time that we saw them, at the World uh, Series America Season 5, it was. Uh, 9Z Academy, they had an early exit. Uh, they lost versus Velox 2-1, and they lost versus Flamengo 2-0. They couldn't take a single W on the last season, and now they're looking to change that. Let's see how Ancient is going to go. 9Z Academy on the CT side, and Galore's on the T side. Smoke used on red already, and Koala is going to rotate towards that A site. Galorius, they plan to split on A, smoke use on CT, Slash is there, Koala though, kill found on Neoxys, and he's looking for more, Slash, all top deep on side, Slash is going to eliminate Koala eventually, Fox, for hopes, looking to fight, chasing that kill, but Divine is going to hit him from the back, and now half his low HP, but Ninja is going to eliminate one, and half finds one kill, but the push here from Galorius, Max off found three kills to end this pistol round. Big triple kill from Maxoff, who survives with 3 HP. Galoris, they win pistol. Go from Nines the Academy, of course. Three Mac Dance here from Galoris, and oh, Ninjas, come on, bro. Ah, uh, he misses a free kill. Slash is going to eliminate him. No one cleared him. He had a good position, but... Boost, oh my. This is actually really good. I haven't seen this one before. Let's get a kill, but still, it's nice to see something new being tried here. Two zero, Galoris, they secure that one.
I'm out used by Galoids. They want to win this first gun round. And they are going to keep the three Mac tents. Hap takes a lot of damage here. Maltos flying in, but he's still alive. Smoke on short and Knights of the Academy. They have three defenders, but how are they going to work out? Hap takes one, wait for the trade. Flash pushing in Kane. He gets the kill on Ninja. That's the Pomal Summit, but Wall is not giving rest to Galoris. And Slash is going to create that space for that bomb to go down. And they got a man advantage. Hoax and Detroit J. Smoke used in cave here. Divine. 46 HP remaining, stuck on site, but these smokes are going to give him so much cover. He's got the utility to use if he wants to, but he uses the smokes to perfection. Detroit are still expecting him. And the damage done, but at the end, it will be Galorius to win the first gun round. So well played. 3 0. Good double kill there by Slash. And IMG Academy, they're going to save two guns. And Z, I have another buy here. Smoke used in red. Galores are going to take med control late. Max Law is applying some pressure on A there. Keeping those players at bay. But Galores, they plan. To hit B. Where we got two defenders, it ninjas and hop. That smoke though is so powerful and hop. He's got one more. But still, nine Z Academy, they have no information whatsoever. So they don't know what's happening. They're going to keep this formation. Two one two. Koala will be quick to rotate and the flash support is there. Smoke used on ramp. And Galoris, now they have to push the smoke, no other option, because time is running out. Need to break that smoke, and here's Max off, kill found on Hop, and Neoxys is going to eliminate ninjas. Galoris open up the B bomb site, Koala, there's not much he can do here. Bomb is being planned in the open, but he's not going to risk it to reveal himself. He will slowly but surely go back and save. Round number four for Galoris, 9Z Academy. They say through weapons, so they will have a full buy, but I think it will be a nice time to call a timeout. If this is your map pick and things are not going your way.
got aggression on mid from 9G Academy. That DPHE will deal some good shit damage. And Glories. They will have to wait for a moment now. They can't take mid early. Hop at the same time aggressing the off angle from the Ox. This is so good. He gets a frag on Hop. And he's got no smoke. But he's just going to swing and then just use his smoke grenade to block off doors the boys are taking control taking territory here unable to smoke on donut has missed and hoax is going to get the frag gone away looking for more though and koala that miss smoke from galores is going to give him so much space to go backside it's already available all thought there it is on the frag grenade but the smokes have faded and you have no more smokes you just have to win the duels, and Koala will be the first to fall. Nice shot from the wine. The Oxys is at the same time. Coming from behind. Oh boy. Detroit is not ready. The Oxys finds the first hoax of the trade, though. Hoax is still standing on this defense, but not for long. Maxoff is going to decapitate him. And now only ninjas. Left to save. 9Z Academy, they take their time. It was a bit sloppy there with the smoke missing on Dona, but they make it work. They won the duels. Ninjas, he will try to save this M4. Five zero nine Z Academy. They're not stopping in Galoris. I was wrong earlier. When I said that it was a map choice of Galoris, but apparently either way. Thank you to the chat for bringing it up. I just look at the chat right now. I believe we're fine now. Music. Ninjas. The wall bank damage on Neozix. Let's see if that is going to help here. The Lords are playing so passive on this B side top. Oh, the timing. Detroit is holding short here. He's holding side cross because short is a bit too late here to have that line of sight on ramp. Kill found by weight on Detroit. Ninjas. Going to peek eventually. He's going to catch away with an 8 on hand. And the lineup Ninjas finds two more triple kill from him. Looking to get Galoris on board. Maxoff and Divine versus four here. Koala is going to kill Divine. And Max off. That's shot found on Hop. How many more can he get here? He's got time to use. 35 seconds. Molotov is going to spread. Koala is in trouble, but he gets a frag. And oh my god. He survives with one HP. Galoris. They finally get on board. Thanks to Ninja's huge triple kill. I'm out call for Galoris.
Ein See. Einfach vorbei. No, Zix. Is he going to try to push? No. He doesn't know what's lying behind that smoke. Man, it's good, but he's going to be in just to get the five slash. Great found. Even numbers, but not for long. Slash, he's found another one. Hop, not ready for that one. Detroit holding with the op. He will get closer. He needs this trade. He's looking for it. Slash, though. Not peeking just yet. Detroit, all oh, the timing, that's heartbreaking. It's a bit unfortunate. Hopes. Incendia available, and this is going to stall so much for that bomb plan. Here it is. Spread is good. Need use on default max off. Take some damage, wait as well. Now the bomb will get planted the flash out high, but you can't really push that smoke and glories. They're going to save. The money is so low, they're not going to risk the AK, the M4, and the AWP. So 9Z. They get another round. Lord, this is getting out of hand a bit. Terrorists win. for the wild bank he's on point once again the access will lose his life call is going to eliminate him and detroit is holding mid 9z flash is good but detroit he had the angle cover so all he had to do was shoot and that he did call is going to eliminate weight leaving just divine in the one versus five the lorries Saving last round was so worth it. Divine. So try to save that AWP. The Galorias are already on the hunt. And Divine. He might get knifed here. Koala, is he feeling like I'm feeling? Yes, yes, he was feeling like I'm feeling, but Divine, uh, look back. Well, okay, Galoris, round number two, that was very convincing. Five players alive. All right. That's a good start to come back. They were looking for a fight on mid, but Galorius didn't show up. Fine sacrifice of HP in the flames. Here it ninjas again with a spray. Or his double doors. And 
great nade by Detroit Slash and wait, take damage. Max off, can take mid. Molotov and jungle flash close. No one here. Smoke used by the defense. Snake, cover cave. The nade to break the smoke. Ninja is in trouble. He's in the corner, but maybe he's not in trouble. Neozix is going to fall. Another smoke used here, keeping that man advantage. Strong and Slash is looking for a boost. Max off though, he will find a kill on Hoax. It looks like that push was a bit unnecessary, but time is running. Another smoke used by the CT side to block off Cave. And now 9Z Academy, they're running out of time. 23 seconds. Are they going to commit to B? I don't think so. They're going for A, but we already have Galori, so I need to rotate. Koala. How many can he find? He's alone on the A defense, but he will be max off to eliminate him. Kill found by Detroit on Slash. No smoke on CT here from the T side. Flash is available. Defuse hits on Ninjas and Hop. We got a Flash to work with for the defense on the retake. Ninjas. It will be hard to eliminate Divine, the Flash on AMA, Max Off is fully blinded, but Ninjas is committed to hold this position. Tap on that bomb in here, Ninjas with a frag on Max Off, and they know where the last player is. Wait, a long spray, but he gets the job done, and Galore, they need to jump on that defuse once again, but it will be Ninjas to take down, wait, a nice try. But it's not going to be enough, Galore's find round number three. And Galoris finally managed to break the economy of 9Z Academy. They got a half buy. It's just pistols. They had a smoke and they used it already. Z, they got some control here on A, Max off. Hoax is holding from Donut, an off angle, but he needs to be careful. From these pistols, Wait is being pushed on ramp. He's going to swing, Hoax is going to eliminate Divine, but Max off, here's the trade, and that's the A side open. That bomb needs to go down quick here. It's four versus four, but Max off loses his life. Flash, swinging on CT, Detroit is going to take down Neo Zix. Koala finds Slash and only wait remains. And Bomb isn't really planted in a good spot. But Koala is not going to waste any time. He's just going to swing on A main and eliminate him. The only chance pretty much here for 9Z Academy was Max out with that M4, but he was the first to fall in the post plan. A nice try though. Bomb plan. That's always good. Galoris, it was a very slow start. But, they've come alive. Aggression from Galore is on Snake. Nine Z Academy are not fighting Snake. They want to fight mid, and Detroit is going to shut down Slash. Max off. The flash isn't good enough, but Detroit is going to miss that shot. Hop. One team to risk it. Push through the smoke, and now that smoke has faded, and Max off is patiently waiting for heaven. And Hop is not going to clear behind the box. Oh my. This can turn ugly real quick, Hop. Ninjas, here it is, Maxoff is going to take him down, Divine is going to eliminate Top, saving his teammate Maxoff, who got dinked. 
And Galoris, they had a strong position. Hoax now will fall to Neo Zix. Koala. One versus four. He's got a save. Galoris, they really had an opportunity there. If one of the players looked on that box. Now Koala. It looks like he will be hunted because the next round is going to be the last round of this first half. And Koala knife out. Oh no. Neosix is going to find him and kill him. 9Z Academy, they got seven. But they won more than seven. Aggression. Always going to eliminate Slash. Max off. One kill on the second on Hoax. Not the third, though. Shut down by Ninjas. But Max off. That was a very important double kill. And Beast Boy with that sniper is going to eliminate Divine. 9Z Academy outnumbered. And Beast Boy is so hungry to go for more here. Oh my, he barely survived. Yeah. Neozix is chasing for that frag. He's found ninjas though, and he knows that Detroit is on site. The missed shot from Detroit means death. Now hop, one versus two. He gets the first frag versus Vape. Down to the one with 135 HP, and he will be hopped to get the one versus two clutch. Galoris, five rounds on the first half. Great comeback as they were losing 5-0. Second half has begun. Now we got 9Z Academy on the CT side. Dualies on Maxoff and Neozix. Galoris. Util available. Smoke thrown on Red Room. And they're hoping for a reaction from Cave, but no. Neozix is holding patiently. Detroit with a P to 50. Gets shot in the face, but thankfully was through the wall. Doesn't take much, much damage. Wait. Lost a couple of players now. Neozix, the pressure is on his shoulders to get a multi kill, but Hoax is going to eliminate him and Koala finds Wade. The Lords, they are so ready for this setup in cave. Max off. Slash, two players pushing him on short and he will fall to Koala. Max off has found one kill for the CT side, but they need four more. It's a two versus four retake. And this is extremely difficult. Divine. Nine Z Academy, they won a couple of exit frags here. But 
knocks off, not able to connect anything with those dualies, and Hop is also going to find Divine. Well played from Galoris. Round number six. Flash on Maxoff and Galoris, they're out mid. That flash is about to pop. A bit late, right? Galoris already crossed towards heaven, it will be Hop and Koala with a cleanup. 16 kills for Koala. He's feeling it. Full by now from 9Z Academy. Up. Out on heaven. Oh, Slash is hiding in basketball. Max off. He's found a bit double kill. And here's Slash. Emerging from the smoke there and eliminating Hap. Making this a 5 versus 2 for 9Z Academy. Galoris, they wanted to fight mid. And nothing works out for them. Divine, good angle here with the M4, spots, one player, flash used, going to be on the back of that and it perfectly pops in front of Koala, blinds him and he's dead, Detroit, one kill found, looking for the upgrade, he's got the AK, we don't see the, a dink, oh my, nice shot from Detroit, but not enough for the kill. Detroit, smoke used. He's signaling that he wants to save. But 9Z Academy don't plan on letting him keep that AK. We got Neo Zix holding A main exit, or entrance rather. And Detroit, he got spotted. Nice shot on Neo Zix. And with that kill, yeah, you can get your AK. You've earned it. Nines the academy first off, first things first they're not close and even if they were close they didn't have enough time. Missing the jump fight there, he's going to just hold heaven from Donut and he will get the frag. And Max off ready for ninjas on mid. Hop pushing that smoke, he knows exactly where one player is. The straight through though. Um, Neozix dealt minimal damage, but it was enough. That nade is not deep enough though. Attempts from Detroit as this is getting desperate here for Galoris. They're losing players left and right. Neozix. Wait is going to eliminate Detroit. Koala 1 versus 5. Left with this AK. Koala. Spots the first but doesn't manage to land the shot. Well, 
Oh, lemon eight. Neo six. He's got a smoke to work with. Okay, I guess the server lagged out. I'm not sure. Yeah, apparently. And we're back. Okay, so welcome back, everybody. Let's refresh our muscle a little bit. Um, Galores versus 9Z Academy, if you've just tuned in. Uh, this was a one-way start from uh, 9Z Academy, but Galores did come back. Uh, 9Z Academy was winning 5-0, to zero, but the Galores uh, made sure to get 5 rounds on that first half. That was really successful. And now on the second half, we're having a really interesting uh, match. It was not as boring as in the beginning. Um... Yeah, this is a loser's match, so whoever loses is going to get eliminated from the event, and the winner will be playing versus Flamingo for that playoff spot on uh, America's World Season uh, 6. Hi, Koraz, how are you doing? Where's the game? Well, uh, it's not like you didn't see it, what happened. We got DC'd from the server, technical issues on anyone's side, I'm not sure the details why. Um... But I guess we can just sit tight and wait. This is the second match of the day. The first one was the winner's match between Flamengo and Case. And Case already made it to the playoff stage. They beat Flamengo 2-1 to one in maps. Um, and Flamengo is patiently waiting and watching this match to see who the winner is going to be. Because they will be playing against them. Now, um, Flamengo already played once versus uh, 9Z Academy. And they beat them 2-0. So, I think Galois are the favorites to win this uh, match. We talked about this on the pre-show. Uh, but, uh, let me just try to get some information here. So, um, say, a salve to Brazil. Okay, what does that mean? Teach me some, some Brazilian words here. Nice curtain, typical Albanian. Well, what do you expect? We got a really good curtains. A salve to Brazil. Okay, hold on, let me Google. Salve meaning in English. From Brazil. From Portuguese, sorry. Greetings! Oh, okay, greetings from Brazil, alright. I mean Portuguese, yeah, yeah. <laughs> salve is cheers, means a shout out. Alright, fine. Okay, thank you. Um, we will recover in about a minute or so. Just got the news. So uh, the match is currently ongoing, which means when we join, the score is not going to be the same. It will be uh, different, uh, but uh, there is a problem and it will get resolved really, really soon. Okay, salve is serious. Uh, all right, that's nice. I know obrigado, obviously, from uh, Portuguese. I know a couple of other words here learned from the community playing Counter-Strike and obviously hearing interviews with Fallen, etc., etc. But I don't know much. I don't know much. Now, guys, who do you think is going to win this one? Galores or 9Z Academy? Like I mentioned, I feel like Galores are the better team here. Uh, but 9Z Academy, well, they can turn up and just win. 9Z win, alright, I see that, I see that. Uh, we got more viewers than the last match, which was Case versus uh, Flamingo. I think we averaged around three or 400. Um, viewers and now we got around 1k so welcome well not reflex if you're not following the stream my brother how can you know what's this yap session about so pay more attention but if you've just tuned in be more nice if you want the answers uh the score well i think it was around seven to eight so we have a little technical issue and we will be back with the match as soon as possible it is only the first map we are on ancient uh, Inferno is the second, and Anubis is the third of the series. And these teams are fighting for survival, so it's do or die. Whoever loses will get eliminated. Uh, the other match is much better. Yeah, exactly. Case was the, uh, the second uh, place uh, on the last season. But this, win this I guess, uh, 9Z... They have a bigger fan base, if I'm not mistaken, but because they did make... Uh, I don't remember, it, it was last year where 9Z played on the Blasphemy Year Spring Showdown. And we had a match versus Vitality where Tri, uh, T-R-I, from 9Z, completely destroyed Vitality. So I remember, I remember that much. And here we are, 9Z Academy. Okay, they're already on double digits. Glories. They had a good start to the second half, but it's not going that way, Slash. 
And Hoax with one-on-one -on -one trades here. Even numbers. Here's Hoax finding one more kill here. Maxoff, how aggressive on mid. Koala is going to punish him, and that is a very important kill to find. A site is now open in 9Z Academy. They got the op on Divine and the M4 on Wait. Hoax is going to eliminate Divine. And he knows where the last player is, peeking behind that Molotov. It's going to be Koala to eliminate Wait. And Delores, they get round number 8. Last year that was 2021. Well, my brother, I don't keep record of every single match being played in the world of Counter-Strike. But thank you for reminding me. Quality is quite good. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, the guy is fragging a lot. I think last time that I saw him, he was at 16. And that was like four or five rounds ago. He's got 20 now. The closest to him is hot, uh, half with 10, which is not ideal. But... Let's see how this one goes. We got an eco from 9Z Academy. Keep the 50 on Max off. And four USBs top. One here, a couple of kills here. Wild spray and he connects on one. And the second on Wade and Hoax is coming in to get some of his own eco frags here. Feel that confidence. Slash. Oh. So much damage, but no kills found. We got a tech pause. Don't know the details, but all I know is that we have a full buy now for both teams. And Galois is looking to tie the score. 9Z Academy looking to extend the lead. Takes a lot of damage here, but he's ooh, he's going to miss the shot. Apparently, Neozix has found two. Ninjas and Koala respond quick, but Wait is going to eliminate Hop. And look at the HP of Ninjas and Koala 17 and 67. Not only are Galores outnumbered, but these one on one duels that they need to desperately win is not going to be fair. They have space though, and they have a full set of grenades, both players. Two smokes, two Molotovs, flashes, a frag grenade. A bomb plan is possible. Ninjas. He gets spotted, he still gets a frag on, wait, alright. Now Divine is going to respect that bomb plan. It doesn't have Kevlar. Diffuse get available on Slash. It's a two versus two now. And the utility is coming handy here. More Galores on this post plant. Nade is closed, but not close enough. Hold on, another nade here, but Slash is again a close nade, not a deep one. And Koala, he's holding cave patiently. Divine, he has to peek eventually. That smoke, use on the bomb now. Which makes this a bit more difficult for Galores. Tap on that bomb, and the reaction will be there from Galores. Ninjas! Slash is going to jump on a defuse, 7 seconds, 6 seconds remaining. Koala, nothing he can do, low HP, a nice try here from Galoris. They get the bomb then at least, but 9 the Academy. They make the retake work and they make it to 11. A timeout called by Galoris. They're looking to deny map point to 9Z Academy.
9Z. Their economy is not in the best condition, so... The Lorries, they have a chance to win this in regulation if they win this round. Fire grenade on Ho drops him down to 69. Noise. Neo 6. Nine on his hands. Six committed to cave. That Molotov is not the best. It misses. And Neo Six is holding an off angle here. Flash used to cross. Neo Six is going to eliminate happily for the second player here. Hoax, good kill. And the second on Slash. My god, sharp shooting from Hoax. Gives the man advantage to Galoris here. Max off. And wait. Good flash here, Max off is blind, the Molotov is going to make life harder here, another flash used. And Max off and wait, thankfully they're together. Glories, Koala might get caught, but he's paying attention towards Donut, he spots two players, that's a lot of information, Ninja is going to take down Divine. Wait, trade found. Glories have the B bomb site, bomb will get planted, the 9Z Academy. As I mentioned in the beginning of the round, or during freeze time, the money is not great, so they have to save. That's Galore, he's getting to double digits now. to 10 both teams are getting close to that map point we got another tech pause here lost bonus for 9z academy is on the first stage which means 1400 per player and wait and max off the best they can drop is from Asus, which is decent but most likely we'll see mp9s i don't think 9z are going to save here it's pointless even if you save, you won't have money next round. Will not be a decent buy here for 9Z Academy. So if they lose the round, they need to save a couple of weapons and hope for the best. Glories. Their money is good. They need three rounds, all three rounds, to win this map in regulation. Can they talk on the tech pause? Not with the coach? I'm not sure. But they shouldn't be available. I can't say for sure though. Well, round number 22nd. Dolores looking to tie the score. 9Z Academy. An MP9 of a Moss. And the 5 7 beside the save. They can the M4.
Yes, you are playing heavy towards mid with three players in cave. Well, two. All applying pressure on A, smoke and flash used. Eventually Galores are going to come into the stage side and it's just Max off holding the off angle, wanting to fight. Flashes are raining in, Maxoff dodges a couple, but now it's a bit too late to go out, it's too risky. Bomb will get landed by ninjas, need use to break that smoke, and ninjas, he's out of there safely, and Koala was ready for any fight. It's a 5 versus 5 retake here, and Hop lurking on mid is going to win a very important duel, Neozix is going to fall another kill here, found by Hop, he's looking for the third, he was feeling it, Slash. Takes him down, but Koala is already on the hunt, knowing damn well at 9Z Academy they have no money and they have to save. And Koala. Good kill by weight. 9Z Academy, they're going to save the weapons, but Galoris, they tie the score. Hold on, wait. Why did he go toward there? I guess he expected Galoris to save towards CT, but no. Unfortunately, that gun is gone and that would be very valuable on round number 23 because we might have seen another force buy there from 9z academy but with weight getting eliminated i don't think we're seeing a buy i think 9z academy play for overtime here Hoax, the flash is good here. Hoax is in trouble. Thankfully, he was close to the door. And he will go back to fight. He gets a first kill. Slash taking some damage. That AK is now 7 HP, but he still gets one frag. Hop is low HP. Koala eliminates Divine, though. Wade will be next in line to fall. Neo Zix with that USB wandering around spawn. Heading for that A site and Slash. With this AK-47 in cave, patiently waiting. And Koala, he has the right idea. Is he going to spot Neozix? Yes, he will. That popped up on his radar, if not his eyesight. Flash, another kill found here with 7 HP. He's found two kills. Oh my, Hap. Thankfully he was being covered by the wall, and Koala is going to cast Slash. So no AK will be saved for Slash, but Neozix, he's found a Kalashnikov elsewhere. Galoris, they will be the first to get the map point. Nine Z Academy. We've seen them go over time versus Flamingo. 16 to 14 And it was exactly on Ancient Terrorists win. The AK saved Glories They've been doing a good job to counter the push on Snake from 9z Academy and now they need one more round to finish this one. No off for the CT side. Max, I was going to hit the jump and he wants some smoke. Galois, they start with five players. This is bold. Wait, he's not going to risk it. Nice nade. Damage them to ninjas and claw. That was actually a team damage. From their own HE. The lawyers they want to come in with five players towards this B side. Neozix is going to reposition. That 
Molly's going to make to make life harder. Three defenders on this V side. The Divine is rotating. Koala is going to start things off with a headshot on Neo's X. Five versus four. But there's more work to be done here for Galorish. They have time. 60 seconds. Smoke used on long. That was one of the two smokes that Galorius have. Wait, he's going to win that duel versus Hoax. Big kill found. Flash use, max off, he's got help. Divine is going to peek on his contact most probably here. But no one from Galorius is going forward. I say that, ninjas. And here's Divine with a peek. Ninja's going to take him down, and he's being cautious about these corners. He clears the right, clears the left, and finds a headshot on Max off. Big double kill by Ninja. This might just be the end of Ancient, unless Wait and Slash can do something about it. Then Wait, he's going for one frag, but gets ready immediately by Hap. Now Slash on the back lines. No defuse kit. This M4 versus three players. And Koala is going to swing with Hap, and it will be Koala to get the kill. 13 to 11 for. Galoris here, 25 kills from Carla, a really strong performance by him. He played some really good Counter-Strike, and at the end, thankfully, he got the help that he deserved from his teammates, because I think uh, 16 or 17 rounds in, he had 20 kills or so, and the closest player to him was a teammate with 10 kills, a huge gap. But he did get the help at the end there, really well played from Galoris. The 9Z Academy, they lose their map pick, and that will be updated soon on the HUD. I know that you guys are... Uh, probably talking about it right now, but that's it for the first map. We got the second one coming up and 9G Academy, they are in trouble. We will take a break and we'll come back shortly.
Welcome back everybody, the second map has begun between 9Z Academy and Galois. We are on Inferno and Divine start things off with a headshot on Koala. And the push on mid doesn't stop. And Galois, it looks like they were ready. Look at them on spawn, but still they lost one player. That's a valuable kill to find for 9Z. Now, Galois. It's four versus five. Deep Smoke used on ramp here by 9Z Academy as they intend to fight on it, but hoax. One uh, duel versus way to Ooh, Max Soft. Now they're the skill. Slash over the duel. He just found one, two. Looking for the third slash with a big triple kill. And 9Z Academy win pistol. Well played from 9Z. It looks like Galois were ready for the mid push, but they lost a player early. And that had a really big effect. Now we got a Nico from Galoris. 9Z. They lost Ancient pretty closely. 13 to 11 and Hoax doesn't see anybody and he falls. The grenades there are great from 9Z. Flash is going to eliminate ninjas. 9Z looking to take us to the third map. Anubis is on the cards here. Detroit kill found on Divine. The Glocks are doing some damage. Well, one kill. Okay. It's not unusual to see the Glocks get one kill here, or the USBs. One of them is on a full eco. Full by now from Galoris, they have the AKs out and the Galil on ninjas in order to have more utility. 9Z Academy. Three players on the beat defense, the flash is there. Hoax is ready though, kill found on Neo6. Another flash here, and Slash is going to eliminate one player and get away with murder. The nade though might actually get the kill on Hoax, he will be defined with the incendiary to kill that kill. Hop with one and ninjas fights with Hop together and they get two kill. Loris, things were not looking good here, 3 versus 4, but they do get that double kill. Or the remaining 2 frags on those B players. It's wait with a 1 versus 2 here, he's picked up an AK, the frag grenade will backfire. Yeah, those edges. Making a big difference. Send the ABUs and that's good. Hop is there, but Koala is going to shut him down. Nice shot from Koala. Big round for Galoris to win. They were outnumbered. But they make it work. We got a timeout call from 9Z. Very early here. If you guys remember, I think it was Galoris or 9Z that called a timeout on the first gun round on Ancient. Which means the earliest timeout we've had in the series was round 3. And then we got a timeout on round 4. 9Z Academy, they like to pay attention in the beginning here to get a good start. So. They're not shy to call a timeout early. We got two deagles for the defense. Two 
Dragon Force and the AWP on the vine. Three players on the once again, including the sniper. Fine. Kill found on ninjas. He's not going to miss that one. Nice nade. Question on Banana, Slash and Neo6 are going to find kills. Detroit though is going to respond, but Slash is still standing. The Desert Eagle connects on Detroit. Smoke cues and it's Iskwala in the one versus three. He has to push the smoke, no other option here. And he's patiently holding for Slash, but he's just trying to stall for the rotation to arrive. And here's Koala, kill final on Slash. Bomb on his back, he's got utility to use. Smoke on CT. Malto available, he will be thrown immediately. Max off, he's rotated from mid towards CT so he can join his teammate and continue this retake together. There is a defuse kit available in Koala, now he's on for the 1 versus 2 clutch. The good news, Wade doesn't have Kevlar, so if he wins the duel versus Max off, this is so doable, but Max off will fall in Koala! Now, down to the 1v1. Wait, he's picked up the M4, he's going with the Desert Eagle, and Koala makes the 1 versus 3 clutch work. Good Lord, get round number 2. What a save from Koala! A sharp shot on Max off. Well, it's going to hurt. Losing that round if you are 9Z Academy. They went for the eco, we have a desert eagle on Slash. Since he got a kill. Slash. Some damage being dealt on ninjas, but no kill. from hop flash on mid slash is blind neo zix is going to get close to assist max off and here it is the trade from neo on hap koala is going to chase for that frag though he's not going to let neo zix alive koala lining them up my god that's some beautiful shooting spray control taps you name it koala's got it all quad kill from him galores get round number three Nine Z Academy back on the full buy, no op. Nade on pool, good damage being dealt here. Neo Zix, 52 HP, hoax. Down on banana, and he's going to catch Nine Z Academy unprepared. He gets the first fight. There are two more players there. Divine, yes, straight found, but are they going to expect the third? Ninjas will fall to Divine. Detroit playing behind the small carefully. Up. Molotov and smoke to create space for that bomb plant, and Koala is still lurking on apartments. But 9Z Academy, they don't look very enthusiastic. Oh my god! What the hell just happened? Divine through the smoke! He's found two rats! Hello? Vac! Check him, PC! Koala, another one versus three is needed here to win the round for Galoris, and he's got the first frag already. 100 HP, two flashes, and he's got time, 40 seconds, but he's making a lot of noise, so they know where he's coming from. Divine is on for the ace, Koala is on for another one versus three clutch, but this sort of crossfire here is powerful, but that smoke is going to enable Koala into the bomb side easier. Flash use. Max off looking to peek on Divine's contact and Koala has to do the impossible here. And Divine has a good off angle. Divine is going to get the ace. 9Z Academy get round number three.
What a round from Divine. Glory is choosing to go for a bomb plan in the open. Yes, there's a smoke on CT, but I guess they've learned their lesson that a smoke is not a wall. Huge round from Divine. And here he is, aggressing on mid. That flash is perfect from Galoris. If there was no flash, Koala would be dead. Found by Hop on Maxoff, and that smoke gave him so much space to maneuver around it. Divine. Holding mid. Voila, peeking from apartments. He's going to eliminate Wade. There's a second player on short, but Hop is going to take care of Divine. And with that, the A side is open. Hoax knows that these players are going to save, gets dinged. But the information should be enough here. Six. Found. Not the second though. Half is going to eliminate him here. Slash. But the MP9 with one. But we also have the boy there on spawn. And he will not allow Slash to save anything. Galois, they retake the lead. Four to three. No heroics this time around from 9Z Academy. And no weapons saved. Hoax is going to eliminate Slash. That was the only Desert Eagle for the CT side. Got a flash on Divine. Let's see if the flash, where is the flash? A bit late on Wave Ninjas. He's got a double kill. Max off. Nice one. And I know that Divine is on CT because that flash came from spawn. Glorious, eventually they're going to- Oh my god, Detroit hit that? I thought it was somebody else? What a flick. As I was saying, Glorious, round number five. Nine Z, they are feeling the pressure, losing their map pick 13 to 11. This is do or die, basically. I gotta win this map to take us to a third, and win that one to survive. And win one more match, I make it to the playoffs. It sounds a lot, but one step at a time. Who smokes use here from Galois on Banana? Oh, all uh, kill found on Max off. He's so dangerous on apartments. And we saw his performance on map one. It is insane. Ninjas. Use. Divine pushing through it. And Ninjas is going to eliminate Divine of the second frat found on weight. Slash. Yeah. Put that bad boy in reverse and go save. Glories.
The first couple of rounds, you can argue that they were close. Actually, not even close. Oaks looking for the exits. Player is spotted. Struggling to get these shots, but somehow he's still alive. Koala taking damage. Slash is going to eliminate him, and he knows that he did damage to the, to the other player. Galorius don't care. They will hunt. They have more players. They have money. Player spotted on first box. Tap is going to go for the reload. He's got a flash. A Molotov available on Detroit. Hoax is going to eliminate Neo Zix. Slash, this smoke might give him some cover, but he's a dead man walking. There's no way in hell you survive. And here's Detroit. Half has that flash, but he's not going to use it. And Detroit's going to eliminate Slash. The lore is 6, 9 the Academy, 3. And as I was saying, these rounds, they were not even close. 9 the Academy, they won the pistol and the follow-up. Galoris, as soon as they get a full buy, they start destroying 9Z. The only gun round that 9Z Academy won was the ace, absurd ace from Divine. That double kill through the smoke, it was magic. Nade stack on mid Detroit. Well, he got one at least before falling. are still going to commit to the A site, even though they saw the nade stack on mid. 9Z. After the nade stack, they started running towards this B site, hoping that Galoris would be like, oh, okay, they naded mid. Show the hoax, though. Gets shots and he's not done. He's looking for more, but Slash is going to eliminate him. After the fine. Koala fine Slash. Seven rounds for Galoris here as they've already won the first half. They are looking for more than a two round lead. They will not be happy with a 7 to 5. 9Z Academy. Timeout called. Let's see it, 9Z Academy, looking to make the best out of this first half. They want to close that gap and get five rounds. Divine has got the AWP out. Galois, three players in the park and just took some damage. I don't know if that burn was heard, but I guess Wade has the right idea. And the Nate follow up, he will deal more. The repositioning. Oh my. Is he going to be ready? The, the flashes must be perfect here from Galoris. I'm near Ninjas. He's going to jump the first off pit. Taking some damage here. Taking some bait. And he will be have to get the frag on. Wait. Two more players on short here. Slash mid on 9Z Academy. Half. Divine will be the one to get the frag on Hoax. Deeds for all. He finds a double kill though. And did he spot a player on mid? I don't know. But either way, A site in control here for Galoris. Ninjas and Detroit are low HP. But Slash and Neo Zix, they are, they are not going to try. They will save. And that will be another round for Galoris here. This is getting out of hand. Desperation times here for 9Z Academy. As they are facing elimination. They lost the first map 13 to 11 and the second one is not going well. They are five rounds behind. And Galoris 
They're looking really strong on Inferno. The winner of this match is going to play versus Flamingo. Flamingo, rather, for a spot in the playoff stage. Hoax. That smoke is good to extinguish the fire, and he's waiting for a pop flash. Neo Zix. Playing close here. It's a flash here. It's Neo Zix. Kill found and Hoax. The flash was not the best there. It was easily seen and dodged by the CT side. Koala looking to make his magic on apartments once again. Just waiting for aggression though. Waiting for his teammates to come towards mid. Another smoke here that will not be respected by Golor if they will all flash through it. Tap will be the first one to swing. Divine is going to take him down. Ninja's on the face, but Max off. More players from the CT side here. Max off is found in double. Only Detroit. Four. He's got the bomb and he knows that one player is close. He heard that weapon drop. The got spotted though. Neo 6. Frag grenade is good. Detroit has to take this duel and he's going to win it versus Neo 6. But has no idea where the rest of the players are. Flash used on CT is not the best flight, but he will be able to cross. With the CT side, we're not close enough, but he tries to catch them by surprise. Peeking behind that Molotov, but it's not going to work. Slash takes him down. And it will be Galoris, though, to win the first half 8-4, to four, and they lost the pistol. Imagine. They lost the pistol on, and they still get 8 rounds. Is the academy. Now they're on the T side. Galoris. Five rounds away. Hoax. Duel is on his hands. Ninjas behind with a flash. Koala pushing on the park and spots the head and takes it down. Slash his fall as well. Koala. So sneaky. Finds two quick kills and nines the academy. There's no way in hell you can react quick enough to find the trade. Hoax spots a player, repositions, Detroit is with him here, and ninjas, he's rotated towards CT, 9Z Academy are going to come into this B-side, flash out high, Neo Ziggs taking some damage to the smoke, and the duelies from Hoax, he gets one frag, Max off straight found though, he will pick up the duelies, but he's not ready for Detroit, neither Max or Divine are ready for Detroit, and he can get easy kills here, and 9Z Academy they're chasing, for that player in ruins and ninjas is praying inside the church and asking for help. Maxoff is going to take him down. More damage being done here by Divine. Koala and Hap, they are both low HP. And the Academy. They will go back to side. And Detroit has been waiting for this moment his entire life, so to say. And here he is, first kill found. Looking for the last one, but he needs some assistance from the players on CT. Detroit will fall. And Divine knows that he dinked both players. But time is running out. He doesn't have enough. And Hop and Koala survive with 5 and 4 HP, 9Z Academy. They got so close.
No bomb plant. Divine has four hundred dollars. You've lost the pistol. You've lost the first map. This is worst case scenario for a 9Z Academy. Is going to take down Hap. Ninjas with the MP9 making some cash. Hopes as well. And here's Koala. Another kill. Only slash. Remaining in the one versus four. And they know about him. Oh, he's running out of ammunition. But it will be Ninjas to steal that one from behind. Glories. They get to double digits. The academy got a full buy. Let's see how well they do here. Banana control for the CT side. Frag grenade is good. It's real good. The second one in the spray through the smoke. Come on! As if things couldn't get any worse here for 9Z Academy. This is how they start the gun round? That's gotta hurt. Koala holding apartments. Has an off angle. Max off. Getting close here. Detroit Betty playing behind wood behind the box so he doesn't get flashed and Koala has a really odd off angle here If there is no flash Koala should be able to get a frag It's going to be Detroit and Koala to hold this a site not let 9z Academy players get out of apartments alive Wait living up to his name waiting for slash to get close and maybe get something done as he's holding for aggression from Banana, he got spotted by Hoax, who will upgrade to the middle. He will take that duel, but Slash is going to take him down. 4 HP remaining, though. And his teammate just got murdered by Koala. Glories. It's so one-sided on Inferno. On Ancient, it was closer. Much, much closer. Well, Galois, they get to 11. We got an AK on slash in the hopes of denying mash point to Galoris. Half progressing on apartments, he finds the frag on way that incendiary is going to give him cover. And if that was enough, he throws another one. Max off with a 1D gone koala. Picks up that AK. Can he be the difference maker here? 9Z Academy could really use a hero right now. Have though, he's going to find Max off before that smoke blooms. Neo Zix knows about the op on long. Detroit eliminates Slash. And Detroit is looking hungry. He wants more. And he's going to get more soon enough. A nice shot on Neo Zix. Divine, he's found the trade. But can he find three more? Another one. He got that ace on the first half. Smoke available. 
and it's used to block off banana. It's not the best smoke though, it's going to allow ninjas to get close, and as soon as you try to plant that bomb ninjas, he will have the advantage, and here it is, not even waiting for that bomb plant, he had a gap, and Galore, they get match point. One more round needed. I'm on call by 9G Academy when they are facing match point. I guess it would make more sense to uh, call a timeout three, four rounds ago. Well, they got nothing to lose, so. Number 17 is going to be the last of this match. Ninja's 1 HP remaining. He's spending utility like there is no tomorrow. Just, he's got the AWP from Detroit. But he's so vulnerable, he can die from a smoke here, and that would be very funny. If 9Z Academy go for the BX Egg and that smoke hits ninjas. Bro, that would be epic. Epic as hell. Galoris. Second on that A side by 9Z Academy. They are going to execute on B. The ninjas. Smoke on the flash. He's still by pressure, but he can't do anything alone here. He's trying to stall. Oh, the nose go. Now the second one is going to land on Maxov. Five versus four here. Divine kill found on Hoax. And he knows about the second player. Nate, though, is going to be the end of him. And here come Galoris on this post plan to finish things off versus 9Z Academy. It's Koala, Hop, and Detroit coming from Banana. Neo Zix, he has to perform. I just realized that Wait has one kill on Inferno. Holy. Time is running out here, Hop is going to eliminate Slash, Neozix is going to find the trade there, but he needs much more than that, and here is the double peak, Neozix finds one more, and now he's alone, and Koala is going to shut him down, Galoris, 13 to 4 on Inferno, they're going to eliminate 9Z Academy from EPL World Series, America Season 6. This was uh, a really strong Inferno shown here by Galois and Koala as always on point there a complete contrast to what we saw from Wait only one kill I realized on the last one on that three versus uh, four versus three retake either way congratulations to Galois they will have another chance to fight for the playoff stage they will be playing versus Flamengo and 9Z Academy they are unfortunately eliminated from the event. It's not the first time that we see them exit early. It's the second time. On Season 5, they lost both of their matches. But the difference was, on Season 5, they won a map off of Velox. And this time, not a single map. They lost both matches 2-0, which is a bit unfortunate. And uh, I guess it's back to the drawing board after this one, because you need to work. These results are unacceptable. But I'm looking forward to see 9Z come back stronger. On the other side, Galoris, well played. Koala is on point. I'm looking forward to see him play versus uh, Flamengo. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. It was an absolute pleasure to catch this one. Uh, Brazilian Counter-Strike is always wild. And one thing that I love about Brazilian Counter-Strike is that I always get to see Inferno because I love Inferno. So make sure to follow, follow us in our socials at the EU Pro League underline on Twitter. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Night.